Welcome back to Good Day Sin Law. Jennifer Gilchrist joins us now with Catholic Charities of Central Louisiana with some reminders for us. Jennifer, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Natalie. Glad to be on the show. Of course. We are always uh, staying prepared, it seems like. Exactly. Um, and helping people out. But first off, kind of remind us what y'all do with Catholic Charities. Okay, just a quick overview of our services. We started back in November of 2022. So we are a new organization and we've launched mental health services, uh, disaster relief, which is what we're going to concentrate on today and then um, basic needs which is assisting assisting people with the the charitable parts of, of what we do uh, utilities rent um, anytime they have a personal tragedy and they need assistance and we offer a budget class and we offer um, you know services that will help them information and referral that's fantastic, a much so. needed resource in our community too. We hope to fill some gaps. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And so y'all are here today to talk about hurricane preparedness. Yes. Which is, is important. Exactly. Disaster is one of our initiatives. And so with the onset of hurricane season starting June 1st, um, we have implemented in our diocese for our churches a Catholic Disaster Preparedness Program that Catholic Charities USA has created. And they are number, Catholic Charities USA is one of the number one uh, responders to disaster in the United States. Wow. So they have a lot of information. They're very savvy at what they do. And they created a program that is three parts. One is preparing individuals and families. Two, preparing your church for disaster, which would include keeping services going or protecting special or holy items and those kind of things that are unique and special to churches. And then the third part is how any church may interface or help their community. Maybe they want to cook meals. Maybe they want to be a shelter. And so this trains them on those three components. And so we're doing that in our four deaneries of the Diocese of Alexandria so that we reach all 50 of our church parishes and they take it, we train the trainer, and the trainer takes that to their church and implements a plan so they're ready. That's fantastic and so important yeah. too because we all know when a hurricane comes, mm -hmm. it's chaotic for everyone, you exactly. know, but if someone already has a plan in place of what they can do to help, then that makes it better for the community. It does, and it makes it easier for you to say, okay, you're in that moment of panic and disaster, but if you've got a written plan, then you can just go to it and it kind of guides you step by step so that you thought through when you weren't in crisis of, you know, assessing what we can do, what we have in place, what we don't have in place that needs to be in place and who our resources are. So it's a good thing to do for thought. And then once you have that established, then every year before hurricane season for us, you can just refresh yourself on this is what we've decided. Maybe we need to tweak that a little bit or the players have changed. Absolutely. And now, I know that y'all have um, a lot of volunteers that help out uh, with the uh, efforts that y'all have for reaching out in the community. Mm -hmm. um, is this something that you can kind of train volunteers on? It is. Um, actually, I have a volunteer that's working with us on this particular program, so she's really wonderful uh, helping out with that. And then we have people that came to our volunteer recruitment breakfast that would be more hands-on when a disaster comes. And the other great thing is Catholic Charities USA will send us support to our area. Wow. So we have those um, nationwide supports, whether it be people or washing machines or, you know, people coming to um, cook and things like that. So we not only have our local volunteers, but we have our national office that supports us as well. That's another great resource too. It is. Now are you still looking for more local volunteers who may want to uh, come and learn how to be prepared and, and help people during a hurricane? Well we do and I'm glad you mentioned that. Actually we are talking with all of the organizations that respond to disaster in our area and tomorrow is a big um, event at the Red Cross. So the Red Cross, the Episcopal Diocese, um, some other partners that, you know, the state partners that are involved in response are coming together to talk and have that round table discussion of who does what, who can contribute what. And it's at the Red Cross building, you can still go. 
um, I would suggest to email me because I don't know that the, that long uh, RSVP address. <laughs> so just email me at jgilchrist at ccsinlaw.org and then I'll connect you where you need to go. But uh, 10 to 11 is a volunteer um, meet and greet. And then there's a noon meeting where any organization that may be interested in getting involved can come and be a part of the Voluntary Organizations Active in Disaster. That's a national program and we have a local chapter here. And then um, afternoon, one to five, is if you are interested in sheltering, it goes all through the Red Cross training on that. Wow, that is amazing. And it's yes. great to have that everyone come together to yes. really get prepared before hurricane season starts on June 1st. Exactly, and we're real excited to see that collaboration and people talking to each other instead of getting stuck in silos of, well, they do that, or they do that, or doesn't Red Cross do that, or doesn't, you know, how is this different from that? Because everybody can bring something different to the table. Absolutely, well, Jennifer, we are so glad you came on the show to tell us about that and all the great things you're doing out there to uh, help us uh, during all the events. Right, exactly. Hurricane or no hurricane. That's it. We have something going on all the time. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you again for coming on. Thank you for having us. Of course.